All right, guys, this week you're going to see my match breakdown uh, with Tommy McKay. This was my first and only match of 2020, and we're going to go play by play. All right, as you guys can see, different kind of venue for a super fight. Pretty cool. They just walked out there, kind of pacing around. This one made me nervous. Tommy is an uh, extremely difficult, good opponent on an invitational bet. Very uh, well respected black belt. Gracie Humaida, black belt, uh, Gi and no Gi competitor. I was looking forward to this one. Come out. And as always, uh, usually as always, anyway, sit to guard, go for my butterfly game. Like I show you guys, I'm trying to tie up his arms here. Um, he shockingly surprised me. He was real strong, which several of our guys had told me about. Um, but yeah, I was really impressed. His physical strength with his arms uh, here gave me a lot of problems. As you guys can see, he does an extremely good job. His head is underneath my chin. He's keeping it centered. His arms are extremely tight. I can't find space. And right now, I'm really, uh, it kind of looks like I'm going for a guillotine. I'm just really trying to control his posture. Um, I didn't think I had anything. Uh, sometimes I work some sneaky darces there, but right now I'm just kind of getting a feel for him, messing with his arms. My key thing that I'm doing here, you guys will see, is I continuously break his posture. Even when I open my guard there, I always have a head control or a control with the overhook, as you can see with the left arm. You guys saw in my last breakdown, I love this overhook the triangle game. And now I did something I usually don't like to do, but I'm doing a body triangle from guard. <clears throat> and all that's going to serve to do is serve as a control. Um, it's very hard to actually submit someone when you body triangle like that from the full guard. Anyways, I'm continuing to fight here, try, try to find something. And like I said, I was really impressed with his ability to just kind of keep pancake to me. And his strength caught me off guard, his physical strength. I, I usually don't have no problem moving guys' arms around, but um, it was taking me a while with him. So I just go to the usual, something I learned in MMA uh, that's helped me all through my Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu career is... Uh, just try to break someone's posture. As you guys can see though, what I'm beginning to look for, and I've seen it a few times now, my right arm, he keeps subtly stepping up with his leg. There it is again. My right arm keeps searching under that leg, and I'm gonna come back to that later. But right now, I've seen it in my mind a few times that, okay, this is gonna work. You guys can see, again, I kind of was looking for it there. Um, I'm beginning to get a sense and a feel for the match. Sometimes in black belt matches, I finish real quick. There's other times I'm just trying to get a feel for a guy and pick my time to strike. And with Tommy, I knew at about this point I was not going to get an upper body submission, but I didn't want to just open my guard and be crazy. I knew he'd come back to stepping up with his left leg on my right side. So I'm really just trying to get him to step again. And you guys will see continuously my right arm is reaching under that leg. Okay, so he's doing a good job staying real tight again, but he's gonna take a chance here in a minute because he can't do anything. Uh, I can't really do anything. He can't really do anything from this position that he's in right now. And neither one of us are taking big chances because um, we both really respect each other. And that's something you'll see sometimes. Not the most exciting up to this point, but when the action happens, it happens quick. So again, he's just kind of stalling in my guard and I'm just kind of breaking his posture. Um, a lot more difficult than it looks there it was there's the hook of the leg and coach Chris here shouts out to me to go to K guard which is where I dip my right knee on the inside and I begin attacking the leg lock I have a really good control as you guys can see I'm wrist deep under his leg not just with my hand it's actually a very very powerful control if you can get the wrist hooked underneath there I go to the K guard I come up okay and I'm trying to stay on top there he does a good job sweeping me back but I have an inside hook there which I can shoot straight to the honey hole I quickly put him on his butt, and as soon as I get this grip, it's over. I tell you guys, I get a hold of that inside heel hook, it's a done deal. And there it was again. I felt a slight pop in his ankle, but I think he was okay. Um, good to go. And yeah, it was a fun match. Uh, I really felt I was getting on a roll this year. Can't wait to get back out there. Thank you guys for tuning in. I uh, hope you enjoyed the breakdown.